Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiterter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for tuning in to my latest video. For anyone who doesn't know who I am, I'm a UK based consultant, audiologist, and clinical ear care specialist. I'm also the co founder of a company called Clearwax, and Clearwax are the manufacturers and developers of the iClearscope, which is what we use to visualize the ear when we remove earwax. We also train ear professionals in endoscopic earwax removal and we have an online portal where members of the public in the UK can find their nearest earwax removal specialist. So if you've got a blocked ear and you live in the UK, visit our website www.clearwax.co.uk, enter your postcode or your town or city and you can then arrange your appointment with your local specialist. We have a client who attended today with bilateral fully occluding earwax. The left ear, which is the one that we're performing the procedure on at the moment, was the worst out of the two. The wax was very glutinous, very sticky, um, so the suction probe got blocked. Uh, the, the plug of wax extended all the way towards the eardrum. You can just see that when I'm visualising inside the ear, it extends all the way, so it's fully occluding. I therefore decided to just install some olive oil earwax drops from the offset just to soften lubricate this plug of wax to facilitate easier removal. So we soaked the ear for roughly three or four minutes. The left ear was facing the ceiling, completely soaked it with um, ear roll olive oil spray and then for a couple of minutes we got the patient to tilt his head the opposite direction. Um, which then allowed some of the olive oil drops to drain out. So what we're doing here, we're just using the Zolna suction probe to help elevate um, the wax and dead keratin off the canal wall. So we're just going around the edge. Despite using the olive oil drops, it still was very glutinous. At least the wax that was more lateral near the entrance. If it's a bit blurry now and again, it's just the olive oil. Um, so although we, we drain the ear, there is still some oil um, residual oil in the ear and that kind of does blur the screen as you vacuum some of the oil. Because this wax extends all the way towards the eardrum it's difficult to use a Jobson horn because what would have happened you would have got the Jobson horn into the wax and because the wax is still is quite mushy in consistency quite loose I would say you would have just dissected the wax with the jobs and horn and in a way squashed it on the base of the ear canal. Um, if the wax didn't extend all the way, just like the patient's right ear, which we'll see afterwards, uh, jobs and horn is very effective because it just gets it out in one big lump. So here what we have to do, you can see the zona suction probe, I'm going quite deep in the ear and I'm trying to release this off the eardrum, which I just managed to do there. You could just see, and as I, that last part of the procedure, the patient felt in instant relief because this was compacted against the eardrum. So the secret is, if possible, let's just get this off the eardrum initially and then that makes the removal of the rest of the plug quite easy and you couldn't do that with a Jobson horn because you would have to get in behind the wax, that would be making contact with the eardrum which would have been very uncomfortable for the patient. So just release this big plug. Um, the trouble now is getting this plug out of the ear canal entrance. The plug is a lot bigger than the entrance. So in most people's ears, the entrance is narrower than the rest of the ear canal um, in some segments. So the ear canal generally protrudes outwards. So this plug, as it was very deep in the ear with the ear canal is a bit wider, we're having to extract that through a narrow entrance, a narrow aperture at the entrance, but we're getting there. I often joke with patients, it's like giving birth. I can see the head of the baby, uh, the head of the wax in this case. Uh, just having a little giggle with them, which they find quite amusing. The patient can actually feel it at this stage. They can feel it's at the entrance. They're getting some relief. They know the wax is off the eardrum, but the hearing is still not fully 100% restored at this, at this point, although it has improved because the wax is still occluding, blocking the entrance. I don't know whether anyone has ever had nasal packs. Um, I've had broken nose several times, so I've had um, some nasal packs inside my uh, up my nostrils and it's the worst feeling ever when they remove that it feels like they're pulling your brains out through your nose it's, it's absolutely horrendous I, I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy um, and I suspect moving big plugs of wax feels very similar to some people 
But just to the right side, so this side, it's not as occluding. This is the better ear out of two. So just started off with the Zona Suction Pro, but you'll see here the wax is a bit glutinous. It's a bit matted as well. But it's actually a bit firmer, it's a bit more solid in consistency than the left one. It's not as loose, although it's sticky, it's not as loose. So the left side, I'm just trying to think of a better way of just kind of describing it, but it was a bit like soft poo. Yeah, You go in for the jobs and all, it'll just dissect it. Um, the right side has got a bit more texture, a bit more um, purchase. So you can see it's a bit dry there. It's not as loose, although it's sticky, it's not as loose. I'm just trying to wriggle this out. There is a bit of mat, it's a bit of matted wax. So we're not at the entrance. You know that we're at the entrance because there's a lot of hairs. The hairs in the ears, the, the follicles or the cilia, that's what we call the hairs in the ear. They're, they're on the outer third of the ear canal. Very rarely do you find hair follicles in the inner two thirds, the bony part of the ear canal. So if ever you see loose hairs in the ear canal, you, you know either a cotton bud's been used or a Q-tip or the patient's been shaving there the hairs in their ears. So I'm just going in with just gliding in with the Jobson horn and the roof of the ear canal. Um, there's enough of a gap there and I'm just slowly bringing this forward and because the wax, so this first bit did start to dissect it but when I just get in this remaining part you can, I can see the eardrum just in the distance and this wax is a bit firmer so as I'm bringing the Jobson horn forward it's bringing all the wax in its entirety in one big mass out of the ear it's quite a big piece of wax. Um, it was equivalent to the plug in the, well, just under the plug in the, the left side. Sorry if I'm yawning a bit, guys. It's been a long, a long few days, long few weeks actually. Um, not been getting home till late. It's busy at the clinic, so uh, I do apologise. Just need to catch up on some sleep tonight, I think. Um, just some residual dead keratin. Just wanted to get this out for the patient. So again, I'm just using the Jobson horn. I'm just hovering over the canal wall. I've got to be delicate. I don't want to put too much pressure against the canal wall because that will be uncomfortable. A bit further in, now we're on the cartilage portion. It's fine, we can put a bit more pressure. So I've moved this dead keratin forward and it's all now in the cartilage portion. That doesn't give us, uh, the, give us uh, kind of complete right to just be aggressive as possible because it, although we're on the cartilaginous portion, if we put too much pressure and be too aggressive, it still would be uncomfortable. But it just gives me a bit of give now, and there we are, I've just released that dead keratin. So both ear canals, very healthy, tympanic membranes intact. No light reflex there, but sometimes we don't have a light reflex. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong. Huge weighing pieces of wax there, so, no, so 713 milligrams, which is up there with that. I don't know if that is my record, I've got to look back. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that video guys, um, um, if you're watching on YouTube for the first time please do subscribe to the channel, select the bell icon so you'll get notified as and when I upload new videos. If you're watching on Facebook or Instagram for the first time please do follow the page, um, leave a comment, share the video. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll upload some new videos in the next few days. Thanks guys, bye.